Today I'm in the country. And I mean the country. I'm seriously off the beaten path. Wow, 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 wow. I'm obsessed with this doll. Uh, 100 bucks, not even mad about it. These owl wall plaques are pretty fun. They've got such great faces. $12 for the pair. Um, for retail, that's not bad. Uh, for resale, I think it might be a little too close. I've never seen these ones before. The red ones. Oh, wow. They're expensive. Oh, my gosh. Look at this elephant. Oh, he's a quirk stopper, too. Wow, he's phenomenal. $17 is probably just about what I'd get for this after fees, though. Mm. Sugar shaker. I love these colors they have in this booth. 11 bucks. I've had this Dutch boy before pretty recently. Nice missing some paint. I don't leave that one behind. Lots and lots of cute stuff but nothing's really popping out at me. Hmm, the fish looks new. Yeah, that's new. What is this jar? Seven bucks. Well, red and white, it's great. And I love the star print. That's not something you see every day. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Let me make sure there's no surprises waiting for me inside. <laughs> nope, looks good. And of course I noticed the spotted horse planter, but it's 10 bucks and that really doesn't leave a lot of room. Well, these guys are definitely different. $9 for the pair. Well, that definitely gets my attention. These are super unique. Got, they've got really funny expressions, and I love his uh, funky mustache. It's definitely different. Huh. Oh, you know what? I'm now just seeing it's repaired. Darn. A little too high up for me. Seems like a lot of work. What is this pillow thing? I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way. Wow, this is really neat. I've never seen the bellhop, and he's got a really unique face. Interesting, he's German. That is definitely different. Uh, bellhops are usually pretty collectible. Oh, well, unfortunately now I'm seeing his legs about to fall off. That's really a shame. I guess I'm just gonna prop him back up here. Oh, wow. This is so sweet. I'm obsessed with their faces. The one sewing and the one making a doll. Wow, this is really hilarious. It's only $5. Uh, I'm nervous, though, that if it sits around my office too long with those needles in it, that it's gonna lose needles and fall apart and I don't know I'm just a little too messy for that <laughs> he looks like a little Elmer Fudd baby but he's playing tennis and I'm not buying anything sports related I'm not really finding too much I'm gonna trek upstairs here oh look at this little pattern book how cute the bunny suit <laughs> oh my gosh and the little cat that is Quite adorable. Oh, I love this letter holder uh, with the pen holder and everything. It's been a while since I've seen one of these with the monkeys, but 15, especially with the paint loss, is too close. Well, this is quite phenomenal. <laughs> it's only $10, which is really surprising. Uh, I feel like this is probably an easy 30 bucks, at least. But... I don't know, something about it just isn't really speaking to me. Plus, it's filled with styrofoam. Might be $10, because they probably tried to get that out and failed. 
Yeah, I feel kind of weird leaving this here, but I think I'm going to. Vegas Hilton. It's glass. It's kind of fun, but I wish it had a little bit more of a graphic. It's kind of common. Gosh, there's a lot going on here. Ooh, I love star planters. They usually sell really well, too. But something looks a little funny. I could be wrong, but I don't remember the bottom looking like this. Although I've never seen it in green before. Uh, maybe it's... Oh, what is that? Well, I managed to dig it out. I was so excited. Uh, and it's only $3, but then I realized it's because it's broken. That's why it's buried. What a shame. I love that this booth is really making me work for it. What is that? I see hearts. Wow, that is adorable. Hmm, it's older than I would have thought too. Why is it six dollars? Uh, oh dang, it's broken. Oh, this is super neat. I thought it was one of those Art Deco ashtrays at first, but now I'm seeing it's a jar. It's got the same look to it. It's really cool. $8, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Hmm, what's this hiding over here? Snow White. Oh. <laughs> These are really wild. Tape dispenser. Eh, looks German, that's cool. I like the cherries. But I think for $10, it leaves a little to be desired. Fish planter, but I'm not seeing a price. That's just like a tag with no information. Huh, I'm really striking out here, aren't I? Oh, I really wish she had her umbrella. It's like a caddy. Hmm. And then there's another star planter back there. Well, I dug it out, but it didn't have a price. Not much for me there today, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at a map and see where I can head to next. Uh have a really good feeling about this one. Oh my gosh, this cat is adorable. I'm not really sure what the dot system is. I'm really trying not to buy this bisque material. Oh, there it is. Two dollars. Man, that's really cheap. Super tempting. <laughs> what? Wow, this is really epic. It's Italian. That's kind of different. I'm kind of nervous he's going to fall apart at any second, though. He's definitely seen better days. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff out here. Whoa, as soon as I walked in, this is the first thing I see. It's a really nice doll collection. Uh, they're definitely pricey, though. Uh-oh, I hope this isn't a sign. All right, that's fair. This is a great wall pocket. 38 is not a bad price for a collector. It's pretty hard to find. This is only like 20 feet into this antique mall. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but it's not for resale. I love all the little bone china miniatures. Uh, I actually have my grandma's bone china miniatures on my vanity. I think they're just like the sweetest thing ever. Uh, dolls. Wow, there's so much to unpack. The little children's slippers are so cute. Um, but I'm trying not to buy stuff like that. Normally when I do, I get stuck with it. Wow, look at the Charlie McCarthy. I thought the pins were hair clips at first. I would have been so excited. Uh, I love vintage hair clips. I love how much of a variety they have here. Uh, the little children's purse. It's cute. <laughs> Fun sunglasses. I really like the children's tea set. Oh my gosh, that's so great. But it 
it is actually plastic. Uh, I'm not sure if that would sell that well, honestly. It might just be because it's in the moment, but I don't remember ever seeing a more eclectic collection of celluloids. I really want the little doll with the top hat in the back. Um, there's some in here that are really hard to find. They look in good condition and they look like they've been maintained well. Uh, they're all priced at retail or some even a little above, but it's really amazing to see all of these in one place. Speaking of all in one place, this is like a museum of head vases in here, seriously. Oh, wow, I love that one. Um, they're all really expensive, and I mean just straight up expensive, but it's really amazing to see the collection they've acquired. Uh, and again, they're all in really good condition. Wow, uh, there's a lot I like here. I mean, obviously, how could you not? I love the uh, Holly Berry head vase girl back there. She's only 60. Um, I think they usually sell for like 85, 90. Mm -hmm. More like 85 probably. And I see the Holt Howard. They've got, yeah, they've got a little Nick and they're 24. Um, the other Christmas girl head vase uh, was definitely retail. And there's more. <laughs> um, yeah, there, it's, it's definitely pricey. That Cupid doll is amazing, though. Not sure what's going on. It's just stuck in that planter. <laughs> wow, this is huge. I mean, it's huge. That one next to it is a normal size. Um, man, all the purses. Why do I feel like I really want a tiara? Mm -hmm.